Good day, my name is Shervin and this is Shervin Shares where I share products, services, and activities that help you achieve your peak performance. I just started saying that, I like it. I think I'm gonna keep it. Is it a good idea? Do you like it? That'll be my intro. Cue the intro. Wait, the intro is just Okay, we're here now. But Sleep On just sent me this device which I'm super stoked to unbox. It measures your oxygen levels and I do have a couple devices that do do that. Uh, the Bio Loop and then a ring that I wear. But I'm gonna unbox the Sleep On device. It's the go-to sleep by Sleep On. And let me grab the back bag. So this was sent from China all the way to me. I'll leave the Sleep On website link below, but it's like 100 bucks, I think. It's 130 bucks. They say it's a new generation AI device to track sleep, screen sleep, apnea, and improve sleep health. So if you wanna achieve peak performance, one of the foundational aspects is your sleep. <clears throat> Actually, probably the main foundation is your sleep. So finding the tools to help track your sleep and allow you to improve your sleep is gonna make everything better. So here we go, it's come in this little package right here. And voila, there it is. The Sleep On Go To Sleep HST. Sleep report, family report, heart rate. I think oxygen levels, download the Sleep On app. There it is, should I do a funny thumbnail? What's in the box? Go To Sleep, the ring, silicon holder, a charger, USB cable, and user manual. This actually just got here yesterday. Super stoked, <clears throat> this is the back of the box. This is the back of the box. <clears throat> All right, let's open it up. Probably should use something that can. Okay, there we go. Better sleep, better life. It's a white box, looks beautiful and stunning. Let's see if we can open this bad boy up. There it is. Um, this is the top of the box. And then, would you look at that? Better sleep, better life, it says it again. Uh, there's different sizes. There's small, medium, large, a charging device. You want to charge the ring, turn on your Bluetooth, download the app, connect the ring, put the ring on and fall asleep and then view your sleep report the next day. So here's the user manual. You've got user manuals, the little guide on the back right there. This kind of walks you through the steps in terms of like, so this walks you through on how to set it up and use it. Oh, and then there we go. We take it out and there are the three different sizes. As you can see, uh, the actual measuring device, the wireless charging, um, port, a cable, micro USB to USB A. So let's pull out the charger. Ooh, I love this packaging. It, the, you just pull it out by pulling this up. So here's the sleep on 5 volt, 500 milliamp, designed in California. Maybe they're from California, but their uh, product is in Singapore. Um, I got a micro USB port back here and it kind of just goes wirelessly on, I think. So let's see, this comes off. Here's the part. This is the device, look how small it is. And on here, like this is literally the size of, the half the size of my thumb. It is probably the size of my, yeah, it's like the thickness of my index finger, maybe less. And probably the length of like, a little bit longer than one segment of my index finger. So this is freaking tiny. You open it up by taking the wrapper piece off and I'm gonna start charging it first because it's usually what people are supposed to do. Oh, it goes upside down. So as you can see here, it's got the little chargers. The sensor is on the back, but the charger is on the top. Oh, and just like that, just like a magnet, watch that again. Boom, it goes on, and then I just need to plug it in. Um, but the first thing is selecting the silicon holder, connect charging device, charge the ring. Oh, with the silicon holder on it. Okay, maybe we should do that. So how do we know which one to use? I'll start with large. This is a large one. I think I have pretty big fingers, I'm like eight, nine, 10 and it's gonna stick out when you sleep, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let me grab my other ring. The other ring that I also use is a Wellu O2 ring, and the entire sensor and everything is actually in the device. I think this one is like water resistant too. It's covered in 
uh, the charging port gets covered. So I think you can use this while you're working out as well. Um, and I've used it on flights, I've used it while I sleep, and it's kind of big, so, but if you look at the two rings in comparison, they're both kind of taking up the same amount of space in the height-wise, but when it goes to vertical-wise, look at the size difference. But this Wellu O2 also has a screen that displays the, uh, my heart rate and blood oxygen levels, so it's, it's like loading right now, and then you can see there's a red light kind of I don't know if it's possible to see, oh, right there on my hand where it's actually checking it. So I think in the same way, this will do the same thing. But it's just, I think it's much smaller. Uh, you need the phone, you need a phone to actually read the data. I think I'm a medium. So you want it to be tight so that way the sensor can read, but you don't want it to be too loose where I think I'm gonna do the big one. Yeah, there we go. Too loose where the sensor's not able to get accurate data. So I'm gonna try the large ring on my pointer finger and see how that works. This one has like a stretchy um, piece to it so you can kind of fit it, fit it on any ring. I've noticed that if I put it on a finger and it's too tight, it, it like stops the blood flow sometimes. So it's nice to have different things. Um, so that makes sense now that it charges from the top because you'll take this right here and I will slide it into the ring. Okay, there we go. It like fits nice and snug. Check that out. It's right in the ring. There's the top charging port and on the bottom you have this actual sensor. Very thin silicone so it should be comfortable and then I can just slide this on my finger just like that and it should be working now. So I'm gonna now charge the ring. <laughs> to do that, to charge the ring, you just take the ports and just slide this right on top. Watch the magnets happen again, I love this part. One, two. Can you hear that? <laughs> there we go. We're gonna pop the Sleep On app. 2.0 version begins, multi-dimension data display. New night mode, easy for reading at night. I love that. Professional charts show every minute data. Comparison to, to normal sleep. So I'm gonna do a Facebook login just so they can have all my Facebook stuff. Your name, profile, email address. Welcome back. I'm a male. So now we get input our information. Oh, this is a cool height thing. Wait, kind of what I wish it did, it pulled that data from the health app on an iPhone, but I guess you have to input that data manually, but it'd be really nice if it did that. A lot of apps don't. Like, I have my weight in there, like they should at least ask and try that first. And always have the live up to date weight and height. Well, height doesn't change, but weight does, more often than not. Do you have a go-to sleep? Yes, I do. Activate, put it on the charger. It is activated successfully when the red light turns on. Where are you ringing the correct way? Having some technical issues here. I don't know if it was the cable or the charging port, but there you go. It is now blinking red. Uh, for some reason, this cable didn't work, but their cable does. Um, maybe it just wasn't outputting enough power. So I plugged it into a bigger power unit rather than the iPhone power unit, and it seems to be working much better now. Connecting to your ring. Connecting to your ring. What am I doing, bro? What am I doing with my life? Is your ring vibrating? Yes, I can hear it. Allow firmware update. This is, this is loading pretty fast, not gonna lie. Update success. Okay, so here's the app. It's 48% charged. We'll see how, oh, 60% now. Charging pretty fast. My reports. So I'm using two things actually to measure my blood oxygen levels right now. The Well U O2 ring as well as the Better Sleep Tuner. The Better Sleep Tuner goes on my forehead. It's a little device like this. I'll leave the links for these two down below. And from what I've noticed so far is the Well U ring and the um, Better Sleep Tuner have totally different oxygen levels. So I'm not sure if one is inaccurate. Uh, the Well U O2 is closer to my bio strap in terms of oxygen levels. So I have a feeling the better sleep tuner's off, but they say it's clinical grade, you get more accurate numbers from your forehead, so maybe it's just my finger and wrist have low accurate numbers, I'm not sure. But I'm hoping with this device, now I'll have four things, 
And if there's three against one, then we know there's a big issue with one of them. So here we go, sleep. You have your reports, which we'll update. I'll do a review on the actual product as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, talks about sleep apnea, CPAPs, just the impacts of sleep, Black Friday sale. Nice. Uh, and then here is the actual settings. Sleep state of your family. So you can share with your family, sheep label. What does that mean? Interesting. Sleep target. Normal wake up for me is probably 7.45. So I try to sleep for at least eight hours. Let's say eight and a half. Depending on your age, it is recommended to sleep at seven biological alarm. Oh, that's amazing. It's got a smart alarm. No way. So let's try that tomorrow. I'm gonna say eight o'clock. Let's do biological alarm. Hit check. Weekly sleep target, 59 hours and 30 minutes. So sleep debt has been known not to be a real thing, but I kind of get at what they're trying to say is like, hey, this week try to get as much. Like if you miss, try to get more sleep on the following days. But I don't know if like the sleep debt concept is backed by research. Give feedback, ask for help with low oxygen alerts. Let's turn that on. Let's say 90%. So hopefully I don't fall below that. Because dangerous. Biological alarm, which is freaking cool. Find my ring. I think, I wish like the aura ring had that. Whoa, that's awesome. Let's see, let's see what happens if I move away. One meter. I'm now about two meters away, yeah. I can't get much farther than this. Let's try trigger sensitivity. Device version. SE fingertip version. Cool, so I'm gonna sleep with this, see how it is. Seems to be charging relatively quickly. It looks like it pulls all my information from Facebook, like my profile photo. Wow, they're gonna upgrade to go to sleep SC. So you can wear it on your fingertip. It improves the stability of your monitoring and they update the algorithm for fingertip monitoring. That's freaking cool. So the reason behind that, there are more capillaries on the fingertip than the finger pulp, which makes the sleeping data more stable. So that's cool. I want that. How do I get it? So that's that. I'm gonna charge it. I'm gonna see how it works. And I will send you all the review in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, hit, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna keep creating content around products that help you achieve your peak performance. So just wanna improve your life. Starts with the foundations, right? Sleep, and then everything else builds from there. Sleep and stress, I think are the two most important things. So first thing I wanna make sure is, am I getting good sleep? What are the factors that impact my sleep? How do I make sure that I have the best sleep and continuously learn, do new things impact and change my sleep? and go from there. I'll see you in the next video, peace.